First, let's talk about the left function. It helps you extract a specified number of characters from the beginning of a text string. Simple, right? The left function is great for pulling the beginning part of any text string. Next, let's look at the right function. This one extracts a specified number of characters from the end of a text string. Just like that, you can grab the last few characters of any text. Finally, let's explore the mid function. This one is a bit different, because it extracts a specified number of characters from the middle of the text string, starting of any position you choose. The mid function is very flexible and useful for pulling out specific parts of your text. Let's try to use them in practice. Here is some sample contact data and we need to extract some parts of it. To extract the phone code, just type equal sign left open the bracket then choose your phone number, comma, three, and close the bracket. To get the index, equal sign, write, open the bracket, address, five, close the bracket. To get the original code, just use equal sign, mid, open the bracket, address, it starts from 11th position, and 3, the number of digits, close the bracket. Sometimes you might run into issues, like extracting too many characters or starting from the wrong position, but don't worry, double check your starting point and the number of characters you want to extract. Text functions in Excel can encounter issues when used with numbers, dates or special characters, potentially leading to unexpected outcomes. It's crucial to use these formulas with clean text data to avoid such problems. In Excel, functions like left, right and mid provide fundamental capabilities, however, in practical use, your starting position and the length of data you manipulate can vary dynamically. By combining these functions with others, you can unlock limitless potential for data manipulation and analysis. When working with right-to-left languages like Arabic or Hebrew in Excel, the left, right and mid functions can be tricky. For RTL text, the left function extracts characters from the start of the string, visually on the right side, while the right function takes characters from the end, visually on the left side. Understanding the reverse behavior helps accurately extract and manage text in RTL languages. To make things easier, I've created an interactive cheat sheet that demonstrates these functions along with some potential issues and their solutions. Check the link in the description to download it and practice alone.